Introduction Hello friends, look at this. This is a beautiful blue planet. This is where we live. Yes, this is Earth. As we can know that different types of animals and plants are found here. Both plants and animals form an integral part of our Earth. Plants make it green while animals eat them to survive. So let us learn more about the animals. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify different types of animals Describe different body parts of an animal Differentiate between the eating habits of animals Discuss about birds, their beaks and their feet Define the food chain. Friends, as we all know that animals are living organisms. They can move and grow. They have the ability to produce their own young ones. We can see different animals all around the world. They are in various sizes, shapes and colors. There are different types of animals living on this planet. These are land animals, water animals, amphibians, insects and birds. Let us know more about them. The animals that live on land are called land animals. The examples are cow, goat, dog, lion and tiger. You will be surprised to know that some land animals live under the ground in holes and burrows like earthworm, rat and snake. These are also known as burrowing animals. Under land animals, the body is mainly divided into four parts, head, neck, trunk and tail. The head bears eyes, nose, ears and mouth. Next body part is the neck. The neck help animals move their head up and down and left and right. The trunk encloses many body organs. The legs help in movement from one place to another. In some animals, the tail helps to balance the body. All animals need food to get energy and perform various functions. They eat different types of foods with the help of different types of tea. Herbivorous. Herbivorous eat plants. They have sharp and flat teeth for grinding grasses and leaves. Cow, goat and buffalo are the examples of herbivorous. Carnivorous. Carnivorous eat flesh with their sharp, pointed and strong teeth. Lion and tiger are the examples of carnivorous. Omnivorous. Omnivorous eat both plants and flesh. Bear and crow are the examples of omnivorous. After having knowledge of general eating habits of animals, let us now learn about the special feeding habits of animals. In fact, some of the animals eat their food in very special ways. For example, a butterfly sucks nectar from the flowers with the help of a long tube present in their mouth. The frogs have sticky tongue to catch insects, while elephants use their long trunk to detach tree leaves. Now let's move on another topic that is taking care of young ones of animals. We see that young ones of animals look like them. Animals take care of their young ones and feed them. To protect puppies, dogs should be kept in kennel. To protect cow, cows and buffaloes, they should be kept in sheds. To protect its baby, kangaroo keeps it in its pouch. Now let us know about other animals like water animals amphibians and insects. The animals that live in water are called as water animals. Fish, whale and tortoise are few of the examples of water animals. There are some animals that can live both on land and in water. These are called as amphibians, for example, frogs and snakes. The insects crawl on ground or other supports, for example, spiders and ants, some insects can fly also. Now let us learn about birds. Birds are animals that have wings and can fly. They have feathers on their body which keep their body warm. They make their nests on the trees. 
These nests are their homes where they live and feed their young ones. Birds eat and feed their young ones with the help of their beak. Beaks are of different types in different birds. For example, vultures and eagles have sharp and strong beak to eat animal flesh, while ducks have broad, flat beak to eat plants and insects in the water. Woodpeckers, on the other hand, have long, sharp beak to take out insects living inside the woods. As we all know that the birds walk and hold food with their feet and claws. Different birds use their feet and claws differently. As we see, vultures and eagles have sharp and strong claws to hold small animals, while ducks have webbed feet that help them swim in water. Woodpecker have broad feet and they use their feet to climb the trees. Friends, do you know this fact that all animals are connected to each other? Actually, they all are dependent on one another for food. Herbivores eat plants to get nutrition. The carnivores eat flesh of herbivores. And while omnivores eat both herbivores and carnivores. A food chain is the sequence of who eats whom to obtain nutrition. For example, a rabbit eats grass and lion eats rabbit. A bear can eat both. Summary Now friends, let us summarize what we have learned so far. All animals are living beings. They all are in various sizes, shapes and colors. Animals are of different types like land animals, water animals, amphibians, insects and birds. The animals that live on land are called as land animals. In the land animals, body is mainly divided into four parts, head, neck, trunk and tail. On the basis of food habits, the animals are divided into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. The animals that live in water are called as water animals, while the animals that live in water are called as water animals. There are some animals that can live both on land and in water. These are called as amphibians. The insects crawl on ground or other supports. Birds are animals that have wings and can fly. They have feathers on their body which helps them to keep their body warm. A food chain is the sequence of who eats whom to obtain nutrition. 